So I see myself in the next five or ten years as a professional saxophonist, one of the best saxophonists in the world. My name is Timmy Abodurin. I'm 11 years old. I am a student and also a saxophonist, and I've been playing the saxophone since I was six years old. I did the cover of the Vidoj Jawa. So the first time I, uh, when I posted it, he saw it and posted it on his stories. Then the second time, Tunde Ednot saw it and posted it. Then the video saw it and then he contacted Tunde Ednot that he wanted to send me a gift, which was the 500,000 Naira. And then he sent it and I was really happy. Well, um, I've gotten the attention of some celebrities like, let me say, Tokpa Alabi, Johnny Drill, Simi, Adekunle Gold. Yeah. Well, I haven't worked with them yet, but I'm hoping to work with them in the nearest future. My parents introduced me to playing the keyboard since when I was four, to music generally when I was a baby. So when I was four, my dad got me a um, like mini keyboard, a smaller one than this. So since then, I was playing till I was six years old when I saw the saxophone during one of my performances. Then I told my parents that I wanted to play the saxophone and then they got me one alongside with a teacher. And since that time, I've been learning the saxophone till now. I have three alto saxophones. This one, which is a Selma. As you can see, the Yamaha and the Premier. I use this Yamaha at times for um, like backup. Let's say something happens to this, because I use this most times. So if something happens to this, I can always use that. And the other one, it just stays at home. It's near a bit. Well, this is a soprano saxophone. Um, I use it to play the kind of songs that Kenny G does. And this is the aerophone. It's like an electronic saxophone type of saxophone. Yeah. I have a band, a full band, but at times, depending on the performance which I want to go to, I at times use um, a backing track or my full band. I could have used the backing track for Joe, but I don't think there was a backing track then. So my band helped me create one, a backing track, and that's basically just the beat and let's say the other instruments on, on it and the voice. I really don't sing yet, but maybe I'm hoping to sing maybe later when I'm fully done with learning the saxophone. I juggle my schoolwork and my career. So from Monday to Friday, I do my school assignments and during my free time, I practice. Or at times I could just practice for like one hour then I have the rest of the day to do my schoolwork and any other thing I want to do. While on Saturday and Sunday, I have enough time to practice and maybe Friday's assignments, because at times it's much, I do it on Friday and then practice on Saturday and Sunday. My parents support me. They are the ones who get me teachers. They are the ones who bought me the saxophone. And they're the ones who take me out to wherever I want to perform. I like playing with my brothers. I play with my phone and play my family. My role model now is Candidolfa. I really, why she's my role model is because she also started playing the saxophone when she was six years old. She's a dog saxophonist and if she can do it, I can do it. So I really like, like her style of playing also. So I see myself as a professional saxophonist, one of the best saxophonists in the world. Uh, I only have a single titled Ayo which also means joy. We made the song when I met Mr. Bankuyu. So he came to my house just for a visit and then he took us to Mr. Rotimiki's studio. And that's where everything started. So we started creating different lines for my saxophone, the singers and everything. And that's how the song started. You can find the song on all digital platforms and also YouTube at Timlayo Abodurin. Digital platforms like Spotify, Deezer, Apple Music, Boomplay, and many more. I won an award of the most promising female saxophonist of the year 2020, um, the Ogo Yoruba Award. Well, I won't say they should do exactly what I'm doing because that might not be their talent, like what exactly they're meant to do. So I just advise them to like, to know what they like do, to do best and tell their parents and also work hard towards it. Because talent is just 1%, while the remaining 99% is more of the hard work. And also, I'd like to encourage our parents to um, encourage and support the children in whatever they need. They should help them 
to accomplish their goals.